Let's have a look at UV light. What is this exactly? Well, visible light that we see falls in a different spectrum than UV light. UV light can be divided in three types of light. We have UVA, UVB and UVC, and they all have a different wavelength, all coming from the sun. UVC has the shortest wavelength from 100 to 280 nanometers. And in fact, this is filtered out by the ozone layer and it could not penetrate the outer layer, so the horny layer of dead skin on your skin. More dangerous is the UVB. That's the B for burning. We know that when we stay too long in the sun, our skin turns red. And this is caused by UVB rays, which go through the skin, uh, through the epidermis of the skin. These wavelengths are a little bit longer. And so they are from 280 to 340 nanometers. And then we have the UVA rays, which are the A for aging. So something we want to avoid, of course, even a longer wavelength. They go from 315 to 400 nanometers. Important to know is that UVA rays can penetrate deep into the dermis and that they can also penetrate through windows and through clouds. So it will always be around you in your car and wherever you're going. So that's why it's very important to protect yourself in daily life. So when you go to a nail salon to get your nails done and you place your hand in the curing lamp, you are of course also exposed to UV light. But let's see how severe this really is. Looking at all the studies that have been done in the past, there are some interesting facts. Number one, the amount of exposure that one gets from putting your hand in a lamp during a nail service is far lower than the exposure that you would get walking to your car in natural daylight. Also, studies have been done specifically on this topic on young people who actually did develop skin cancer on the back of their hands. And they compared patients who did and did not have very frequent nail services. And there was no correlation between that. Limits exist for people who are exposed to UV light for professional reasons. And it's important to know that if you would place your hand in the curing lamp for 36 minutes every single day, you would still be below the occupational limit for UV. Also, you know that UV lamps are also used in the medical industry to treat skin services like, for instance, psoriasis. And the intensity of lamps like that is you would have have to have nail services every week for 250 years to equal one such treatment. So I think it's very safe to say that your lamps are very safe to use. If your client, however, is very afraid and does not trust any of the scientific evidence that exists, then the only thing that you can do is to provide ways to make your client feel more comfortable. One of the things that you can do is to uh, use gloves without fingers. By the way, the back of the hand is four times more resistant thanks to the horny layer, then for instance, the skin that we have in the face. Also, the nail itself, it acts as a filter and it is equal to SPF of 40. But for these clients, I would suggest put on a glove or even a hand mask with which you cut a nice hydrating treatment while you do the nails. You can also use a sunblock cream, but be careful because you know that grease and gel are enemies. So protect your client if she feels she needs protection, but also protect your work.